Well, Bobby's story has come home tonight and I came from Derry and there's people from all over Ireland has come here to, to pay our respects and to bring him home. Bobby's story is one of those Republican activists that he inspired people and he certainly inspired me all of my adult life. He was someone who led from the front throughout his life in struggle. He took us through stage by stage with determination and with good humour. We all have our stories to tell of Bobby's story. Bobby Story's legacy will live on. He's a legend. He was a legend when he was alive. And our hearts are very, very sore when we received the news on Sunday. People cried and we're still crying. Um, and I think in, when we take him to his place of rest, there will be many stories told throughout the last number of days. But the one thing that we all have to do is to finish what people like Bobby's story started. And I believe that there's a generation in Derry, that in Belfast, down Armagh, Fermanagh, Tyrone, and across the 32 counties of Ireland. And that generation have come through this struggle hearing stories about Bobby's story. And they are the generation that's going to ensure that what he did and how he led from the front, they're going to finish it they're going to complete it and Bobby lived to put us on the road to Irish unity. Well Bobby has eventually come home um, after the huge aberration he went through and the waiting and uh, it's a very emotional uh, evening for his family, he's back with his family, he's back with his comrades, there's a huge crowd turned out to bring him back and uh, I suppose, as I've said before, the, the best way to describe Bobby's story is he, he took the marathon of, of life at a sprint. He led from the front. He worked every day as an activist in his life, at least in the last 50 years, and he's quite a young 64 uh, when he died there. And uh, he'll be missed. I've, I mean, I've, I've seldom seen the type of emotion that there has been from Republicans and even outside Republicans and respect shown as well from people who maybe at one time would have uh, looked upon him as uh, an opponent or indeed an enemy, um, giving condolences to me and giving condolences to other people. Uh, he, he had a great personality, he was, uh, he had charisma to burn, you know, I wish he had a spread it out a wee bit, but uh, he'll just be, he's so badly missed and, and you know, just talking to people tonight and over the last number of days even waiting for him to come home. And that will continue, and, and you know, until he's led the rest, um, people will be coming here um, again and again, talking over, and of course it's, it's after the funeral uh, when people are talking about him. They'll be talking about him for years. You know, they're not talking about something about you know, what, you know, political or anything like that. I just mean personal, the personal fact he had in people, they'll be talking about him for years to come. He's a person who will never be forgot while anybody who knew him still lives.